guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of parallelograms. Now, a parallelogram is a very broad term used to describe many different shapes. We could be dealing with what's thought of as just a normal parallelogram, but there are also some other shapes that fit under that category of parallelogram, and that includes a rectangle. It also includes a square and it includes a rhombus. So this formula that we're going to talk about will be helpful for all four of these shapes because they all fit under that broad category of parallelogram. So as we're looking at a parallelogram, kind of a general parallelogram, the way we think about it, looks something like this. As far as finding its area, what we're going to do is we're going to find the base and the height of our parallelogram. And one of the big important pieces with this is that the base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. But once we have those values, then our formula says that we just multiply them together. We're going to take the base times the height to find the area of any one of these shapes. So in this picture, we've got ourselves a parallelogram. We've got a 12 meter length going across the bottom. And on the inside, we've got this five meter length. And those two pieces are perpendicular. So that's gonna be the base and the height of our parallelogram. So as far as our formula goes, in order to find the area of a parallelogram, we have to take the base times the height. So in this case, we're gonna take that 12 meter length times our five meter length. Now 12 times five is 60. And we'll have to label this answer. Since it's an area, it'll be meters squared as our answer. In this example, we've got a rectangle with a length of 10 centimeters across the bottom and five centimeters across the side. Since a rectangle is a special kind of parallelogram, the area formula is exactly the same. So we're gonna take the base times the height. And remember, as far as the base and the height go, we're looking for two lengths that are perpendicular to each other. So we've got the 10 centimeter length and the five centimeter length, making this right angle in the corner. So that is our base and our height. And if we take 10 times five, we get 50, and we have to put a label on here, so we're gonna go centimeters squared. In this example, we've got a square with four inch lengths all the way around the outside. Again, the area formula for a square is taking the base times the height, so we're looking for two lengths that make right angles. All of these sides create right angles since we're dealing with a square, and they're all four inches in length, so it really doesn't matter which pair of sides we grab, we're gonna take four times four, and when we do that, we get 16 inches squared as our final answer. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching.